Well, guys, um, you guys can see that this is a binomial squared, right? And if we want to go ahead and find the derivative, basically what we want to do is we want to find the change in y over the change of x, right? So we can rewrite this as dy equals dx times x plus 1 squared. Right? You're basically taking dy over dx, correct? Now, oops, I'm sorry, dy of y. Now, huh? remember, when we're trying to find, what is it? Remember last class where we talked about the derivative is basically finding dy or dx, right? We're trying to find the change in y over the change of x. Right? Do you remember like, looking at that? So what I'm trying to say is, in this problem, in this question, they're asking, I'm asking you, what is the derivative? So what I'm saying is, what is dy dx? That's what I'm saying. What is dy dx? Right? Basically saying, what is the change in y over the change of x? So I'm just showing you a different notation. I mean, I can, in the next problem, I'll simplify just a little bit easier. But I want you to understand, where does dy dx come from? Well, to find the change in y over the change of x, we have to find the change in y, and then we have to find the change of x. Would you agree? So if I want to find what is the change of y, so what is the derivative of y? What is dy of what is dy of one y? What is the dy of any variable? Okay, well let's go over x. Guys, what's the derivative of x? Use the power rule. That's really x to the first. So bring down the one. One times x minus equals one times x to the zero, which equals one. Right? So the derivative of any constant is just going to be 1. Yes? I think we'll look at these values. Like, why did you put dy in front of the y? Like, how, okay. how did you get the derivative? Right. So again, what does dy represent? No. dy, remember, the change in y, right? We're trying to find the change in y. That's what dy is representing. It's representing the change in y. Because again, the whole idea, remember I did the whole thing about um, you know, taking the function, if we're finding the change in something, that's, that's, that's exactly what the derivative is, trying to find the change in something. So if I want to find the change in y, the derivative of just y is just going to equal 1. So I'm going to have dy, change in that is just going to leave me with my dy. And then over here, um, my change in my dx, now what I'm going to want to do here is der derive this as x squared plus 2x plus 1. I can divide. So now I have dy dx. I'm sorry, well, let's, before I divide that, let's go ahead and take the derivative of this. So taking the derivative of dx, I'm going to be left with 2x plus 2. Now, right, I just took the derivative of y, I get 1, which is right there, but we don't need to write it in. Take the derivative of dx. Now, I'll just divide by dx. dy over dx is equal to 2x plus 2. OK? Now, I used a very long 